Victoria Taylor saying happy Tuesday. Before you head out the door, let's get you caught up on some of the day's top stories. A 25-year-old Jay Bear soldier was arrested on September 18th and is now facing a total of nine charges, which include first-degree sexual assault, third-degree assault, and armed robbery. Specialist Tony Earl Bullock Jr. pled not guilty to all of those charges Monday in court. Police say a string of sexual assaults began in Mountain View on July 16th around 4 a.m., where on multiple occasions Bullock allegedly met Alaska Native women in the area, forced them into a secluded area, and then sexually assaulted them at gunpoint. Bullock's bail was set for $500,000, and a pretrial has been set for December. So now that we know the federal government has in fact shut down, let's look at how we could feel the effects in the last frontier. For one, our national parks could see closures and that means buildings will shut down as well, including the regional office in Anchorage, along with visitor centers across the state and public land information centers in both the Golden Heart City and Anchorage. What won't change will be backcountry access, subsistence hunting, sport hunting in national preserves and people People crossing public lands to reach their property. There's one road into Denali National Park and Preserve that would be gated off a half mile off the park's highway. The shutdown would affect 757 National Park Service's employees in the last frontier, leaving them four hours to close down their workstations on Tuesday, with only skeletal staffing remaining. As of January 1st, 2014, it will be mandatory for all Alaskans to have some kind of health insurance in accordance with the Affordable Care Act. The state of Alaska completed a study on health insurance marketplace planning and decided not to run a state marketplace, so now the federal government is building and will be operating one for us. Applications will be accepted beginning October 1st, that's today, with effective coverage dates and after January 1st, 2014. There are an estimated 66,000 Alaskans currently living here uninsured. After crash landing on the Seward Meridian Parkway, a pilot walked away from his plane injury-free early Monday morning. According to Matsuboro officials, Jeff Burwell was piloting the plane when he clipped a post. Troopers say there's a small airstrip near the highway and the plane appeared to have some issues after taking off, obviously prompting Burwell to do the emergency landing. Kudos to him for fast thinking and walking away without any injuries. So now sometimes all you need is a moment where you go ah and here it is check out Maggie a new baby muskox born at Palmer's muskox farm her full name is Magnolia she was born four days ago which is pretty rare given how late in the fall it is even though the farm already closed for the season, they're holding a sort of birthday party for Maggie over the next two weekends. From 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. this Thursday through Sunday and next Thursday through next Sunday, you too can enjoy a healthy dose of adorable if you just stop by and say hi to Maggie. So that does it for us right now. Good morning, Alaska. Let's take a look at your statewide forecast.